Uh, what do you think that uh, we as vapers uh, can do differently or better in Estonia? Well, my opinion is that every government, almost every government in the world, do not have a clear understanding uh, on uh, what is the impact of uh, e-cigarettes on the life in the li on the life of a smoker who manages to quit smoking with e-cigarettes. Uh, there is a lot of misconception. And uh, I think that what the vapors need to do is share their story. With government? The with the government, with the officials, with the parliamentary members, with the media. Share their story of how e-cigarettes change their life, if they change their life. How they manage to quit smoking with e-cigarettes. How they are using the e-cigarette. What's the impact of flavors in their experience how flavors have helped them. We've, we did a survey in 2013 with four and a half thousand vapors. And that. also about the price differences, when the price is going to rise. How everything has affected and has helped them quit smoking and what's going to change if they are deprived of flavors, if the product becomes too expensive, what are the risks, what's going to happen with their e-cigarette use and what's going to happen with a potential relapse back to smoking. I think that the vapors need to present their stories to the regulators. I think that's the only thing that they should do. They should be active because they will be hugely affected by these regulations. So they need to explain what problems are going to come out from these regulations. I'm seeing that the big they need to be informed, first of all. I'm not sure that every vapor is informed about what's happening right now in Estonia. Yeah. The first thing is that they need to understand what are the implications, what are the intentions, and what's this going to mean for their daily habit. And they need to share their stories and also share the prospects coming out from this uh, restrictive regulation. They need to um, provide this information to the regulators because the regulators don't know. Don't know how a cigarette use affects the smoking habit. They don't know how many people who were heavy smokers have managed to quit with the cigarettes. They don't know how they evolved from being a smoker to becoming a vapor. Uh, the vapors need to provide this information. And I think they have power because uh, when we did this petition, we got uh, almost 5,000 yes. signatures and uh, it opened the doors for us uh, for uh, uh, extra communica communication with government and, and uh, thanks to that peti petition you had a chance to present your evidence uh, yesterday. Yes, exactly. Uh, it is very important that the vapors become active. The vapors don't have any financial interest in the cigarettes. And on the contrary, they are paying for their products, so they cannot be accused of supporting their finances or anything like that. Um, they have um, the right to protect their health. They have the right to defend their health. Uh, they have the right to access to an alternative, sub substantially less harmful product. And no one can deny that right to them. You know, it's, an, uh, it's a WHO human rights issue, you know. Okay. The yes. Ottawa Char Charter in 1986 was about empowerment in health. And the declaration was that people should have all the necessary tools available to protect their health. And e-cigarette is one of these uh, tools.